Hello everyone and welcome to Wervin's World. Today I would like to get into the nitty gritty details of how uh, gem combining works in this game. So basically how is it mathematically calculated, what uh, exactly kind of powers you're gonna get. Um, unfortunately I myself am pretty bad at math so I had to bother a lot of people um, uh, for this, uh, especially on the IRC channel, um, players called IEEE -E -E and Lenore and Super and Brothel Cash uh, were really helpful and uh, really took the time in order to explain this to me. So thank you very much to them. Um, so where do we start? Let's say we have two orange gems and they both have 0 0.39 mana per hit as they leech. If I combine them, it's not added together, it's not like it ends up at 0 0.78, because um, when I combine them, it ends up at 0 0.54. So what happens behind the scenes? Well, for that we go to a table uh, called uh, uh, Gem Combining Parameters, uh, which I'll put a link to on um, uh, in the description, um, which has been provided by uh, the player IEE. Um, so what happens is we look at the mana gain per hit. So as you can see here, there's a thing called delta grade. So delta means difference. So this means the difference in grades between gems. So now I combined two grade one gems together. So the difference in grade between them is zero. So I look at the delta grade zero table and I go to mana gain per hit. Then you see two numbers. Um, 0.88 and 0.5. What this means is uh, there is a formula that uh, multiplies the mana leech of the strongest gem by 0.88 and then adds to that the mana leech of the weakest gem multiplied by 0.5. So in this case our mana leech was 0.39 uh, in both cases so both gems are just assigned randomly to any of these in this case because none of them is the weakest. So uh, 0 0.39 times 0 0.88 plus 0 0.39 times 0 0.5. And that uh, ends up as exactly 0 0.54, or exactly rounded. But um, So this is uh, what we get. That's what's going on behind the scenes. It uh, gets even more interesting when we start combining colors and combining grades. For example, maybe you hadn't noticed yet, but uh, let's say I have a grade 2 gem. I can add as many white gems in there as I want, um, but uh, the grade doesn't change, it's still a grade 2 gem. However, the uh, as you can see, the mana value and the upgrade cost is much higher for this one than a normal gem. So this one would cost me only 360 mana to upgrade, but this one would... All, all, cost me 1260 mana to upgrade. So um, taking these things together that you can combine gems of different grades and of different colors, I'm going to combine this one which has 0 0.54 mana per hit with this um, critical hit gem. So I'll do that now and then you can see that we now have a leech of 0 0.34 mana per hit. So how did that work? We can go here, the delta grade is 1 now because uh, we mixed a a uh, grade 1 gem with a grade 2 gem, so there's one difference. And then we go to the uh, mana gain per hit again. So we had 0 0.54 in our grade 2 gem, so that's the strongest. And the yellow gem doesn't have any mana uh, leech, so we don't use this right table at all. There wasn't a weaker gem in that sense. So we just do 0 0.54 times 0 0.89. However, that we have to multiply uh, with 0 0.7. Because, as you can see here, dual gems in the game get a 70% specials power. So their specials get weaker if there's two colors. You can change this all with skills, but in this case I don't have any skills, just for the example. So now I just do 0 0.54 times 0 0.89 and I take 70% of that. So I, I multiply by 0 0.7 and I get a 0 0.34 out of that. And as you can see here, that's exactly what I get in the combination as well. With the critical hit, it's exactly the same. So um, a level one, a grade one gem has an 11% chance to deal damage, uh, extra damage, and so we go to the delta grade one again, critical hit chance, so the strongest one gets 0 0.8 and the weakest one 0 0.28, but the weakest one was our mana leech gem, which doesn't have any critical hit yet, so we don't use the right column. So that would be uh, 11 times 0 0.8, and again of that we take 70%, uh, which is 6.16, and indeed, 
that gets rounded to 6% chance to deal extra damage. So that's uh, what's going uh, on behind the scenes. Uh, in case of damage, uh, the minimal and maximum damage of the gem, there is a, a random uh, factor added to it. Uh, so basically it would be plus 1.2 times uh, a random number between 0 and 1 uh, from a uniform distribution, which means that every number is equally likely to pop up there. Um, so with damage there is a bit of extra randomness uh, mixed into it. Um, yeah, so now that we know how the gems are calculated, uh, that also means that this is an example of a non-associative thing. So a, a plus b in brackets plus c is not the same as a plus c in brackets plus b, which is what makes it really weird and I had difficulties understanding that at first. Um, so now that we know how all this works, like we know the mechanics of it, we can start calculating what is the most efficient way of making our gems. And uh, for that, luckily, uh, some players have been making a program uh, and have been calculating all of that for us, because it would be a, a humongous job to, to do that uh, by yourself. Um, and that will be the topic of my next video. So now at least we know how everything is calculated, and then the next uh, video will find out how we can put that into effect to make the best gem possible. So I hope you find it useful, and see you next time.